click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. This is your morning extravaganza, your reigning source for all things WWE news, rumors, headlines, previews, predictions, gossip. We bring it to you in real time. Why? Because if it weren't for you, there quite frankly would be no show of you. Now, before we get into the stunning bombshells, the breaking news, what was your thoughts, your comment, your opinions? What was your review of last night's SmackDown extravaganza? Ladies and gentlemen, the world thought AJ Styles was going to quit. He was going to retire. AJ Styles was going to go off into the sunset. What are your reactions from what AJ Styles pulled off this stunt, this fakery, this foolery on undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes? Now, before SmackDown went on the air, we thought it was going to be Cody Rhodes that was going to retire. Cody Rhodes put out a cryptic tweet, and it made it look like Cody Rhodes was going to have his last match. And we were thinking, we were wondering, we were doubting, we were questioning, why would Cody Rhodes have his last match as undisputed WWE champion? But it all came down to AJ Styles. They built this up. What I liked throughout the night, they actually built this up. They strung this through. They hooked us through with AJ Styles and his announcement throughout the night. So that was definitely a good thing. But ladies and gentlemen, I want your thoughts, your comments. What was your review of SmackDown last night? I don't know. We'll give it out of 10 stars or, or 5 stars, wh whichever you want to go by. Give me your, your rating, your ranking. And what other else? What a, Did you like the promo between uh, Paul Heyman and Kevin Owens? And it looks like Randy Orton might be out again with another injury, another sideline for the Viper. Although there's a lot of rumors and speculation that Randy Orton is just now a part-timer and he just is on a part-time schedule. So he'll have to take time off here and there so we can, you know, have more longevity to his career and add more time to his career. Again, I don't. I haven't heard anything serious about Randy Orton and any injuries to him, but hopefully he's good and hopefully he will be okay at the end of the day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, coming through here on the Brash, the Brazer, where we score with the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most intuitive WWE news and rumors. And it's always important to please become a channel member today and click the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. This just is coming through. This is why we do all news in real time, multiple times a day. Rey Mysterio says he is glad the spirit of Eddie Guerrero will live forever. Now, I can't remember the last time I did an Eddie Guerrero update because, quite frankly, when YouTube was around, Eddie Guerrero was pretty much already, had already passed away. And we all know Eddie Guerrero passed away uh, in 2005. And that's pretty much when YouTube started getting big and huge. But John Moxley, we got breaking news, guys. Now, this is huge. Now, th this is pretty gigantic. We got breaking news on John Moxley's AEW future. Is he coming to the WWE? There has been rumors swirling. There has been gossip. There has been speculation. Let's get into it right now here on The Brash and The Brazen. Ladies and gentlemen, as previously reported, a former AEW world champion has inked a multi-year deal with AEW, ensuring his presence in promotion for the foreseeable future. Now, during a recent Q&A session on Fightful Select's podcast, Sean Ross Sapp addressed the inquiries about John Moxley's contractual status and its expiration date. Is John Moxley coming to the WWE? Can his contract be brought be bought out? Because, you know, under the Triple H era, John Moxley would have a better creative. He would have better control over his character. It was disclosed that John Moxley or Dean Ambrose's contract is set to expire in 2027, which means he's got three years left. But again, a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip about WWE and Triple H being very interested in wanting to buy out the contract of Dean Ambrose. Currently, he holds the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Moxley is gearing up to defend his title at the NJPW Do Dominion this month. As fans eagerly anticipate his upcoming matches, they ponder how John Moxley will be booked as the reigning champion in the weeks to come. Undoubtedly, Moxley's contributions to AEW have been invaluable, earning him the admiration of fans and the reputation as one of the prominent's most valuable players. Do you believe that D John Moxley holds the title of AEW's EV or MVP? Share your thoughts, your comments, and please credit Sean's View Entertainment, the Dirt Sheets, the websites, Ringside News for the above transition in the publication. Also, 
John Moxley's arrival at AEW Double or Nothing marked a turning point, instantly propelling him into the spotlight as one of the promotion's biggest stars. Since then, he has consistently delivered stellar performances, solidifying his status as a cornerstone of AEW. And again, guys, do you think his contract should be bought out? Should he remain in AEW? Should he stay in AEW? Should John Moxley or Dean Ambrose return to the WWE? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Starks and Big Bill wanted to move on from AEW Tag Team Competition. Will we ever see Big Bill back in the WWE with Enzo Amore? Also, we got breaking news, guys. This is actually monumental. A released WWE star enters free agency, and that being scripts of the NXT brand. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, ladies and gentlemen, scrapped plans for Nigel McGuinness in-ring return unveiled. Also, with AJ Styles fooling everybody and doing his fakery, and it was pulled off pretty well. AJ Styles did a good job. I'll give you that, but... They are building. It looks like at SummerSlam, it will be the SmackDown general manager against AJ Styles. He's going to come out of retirement, and he's going to face AJ Styles is the current SmackDown GM, Nick Aldis, against AJ Styles at SummerSlam. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, AEW's relationship with Warner Brothers Discovery amidst the estimated $110 million TV deal. Ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Megan Baines' AEW status after the prolonged absence is being revealed. Also, the reason for Soraya's match being pulled, or Paige, I like to still call her Paige, pulled from AEW Dynamite. There was some miscommunication. I can say that right. That'll be in the botch and bloopers on the IWC website. (laughs) There was some miscommunication this week that has seemed to have rectified. I know she voiced her concerns, did Paige. They explained their side of the things. It's something they are going to monitor. I don't think that was supposed to happen this week despite it getting through the Control Center show. I thought it was supposed to be next week and there was a miscommunication. Then heads started to roll. Now, Soraya Page has voiced her frustrations with AEW following the match's cancellation. However, fans can anticipate what AEW has in store for her as she prepares to face Mariah May on the upcoming edition of AEW Dynamite. Also, a massive appearance is being promoted for Monday Night Raw, a massive top champion. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, that being the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters. Listen to this one. Liv Morgan appearance is confirmed for the Monday Night Raw on June 3rd on the USA Network. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Darts sensation Luke Littler walks out to Cody Rhodes' theme song in Madison Square Garden. And, ladies and gentlemen, Mercedes Monet, the former Sasha Banks, addresses facing Becky Lynch in AEW after her WWE contract expires. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on seeing potentially Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet in AEW. Where should Becky Lynch go? Should she remain in WWE? Should she go to AEW? What is going to be the fate in the future of Becky Lynch? But the fact that Mercedes Monet is commenting on it, she's talking about it, she's addressing it, has to be seen as huge. Also, MJF shows off his incredible body transformation following his AEW return. And as we all know, MJF will return this week on AEW television. And Carmelo Hayes addresses his unfortunate botch on the SmackDown in a backstage segment with L.A. Knight. Yeah. What did you think about that? I thought it was pretty good. I think L.A. Knight pretty much, you know, Stuck it to Carmelo Hayes for that botch, for that blooper. Kind of like I had a botch and a blooper during this episode of The Brash, The Brazen, where we always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Also, ladies and gentlemen, did you like that backstage segment with Carmelo Hayes and LA Knight? And what do you think about LA Knight gunning for the United States Championship of the World? Is LA Knight finally going to win his first big singles championship in the WWE? Has he earned it? Does he deserve it? Will he get it? Will it go down? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Mark Henry is reacting to AJ Styles' 
fake retirement on SmackDown. Again, what did you think? Did you think that was orchestrated good? Did you think it was just as good as Mark Henry's retirement years and years ago? I think the WWF played it off pretty damn well. Also, breaking news on undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes. Listen to this one, guys. AJ Styles actually continued his officious assault on Cody Rhodes after SmackDown went off the air. After the cameras stopped rolling out, they said, all right, guys, we'll see you next week. AJ Styles continued his assault on Cody Rhodes. And what do you think about this side of AJ Styles, the dark side? Also, Drew McIntyre vows to give CM Punk a title shot after WWE Clash at the Castle win. See, Drew McIntyre already has himself as the WWE champion. He already sees himself as the top man. Drew McIntyre already is the WWE champion in his mind, even though Damian Priest is the Raw World Champion at this stage of the game. So what do you think about Drew McIntyre, CM Punk for the Raw World title? Will it be at Money in the Bank? Will it be at SummerSlam? Do you want to see this match? Are you intrigued? Are you interested in a CM Punk, Drew McIntyre World Championship clash? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a massive Raw star is officially a free agent after their contract has expired. Becky Lynch is officially a free agent after a WWE contract expires. Yes, indeed, she is. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Also, Brandi Rhodes has reacted to AJ Styles' shocking attack on Cody Rhodes after the 531 WWE SmackDown. Again, there's been a lot of rumors and speculation that Brandi Rhodes could be involved in WWE storylines and WWE television over the next several months, but obviously she's going through her own health woes right now. Also, Dijak offering proofreading services after noticing Logan Paul's social media mistake and answering L.A. Knight. Yeah, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we score you with the greatest, the latest, the newest, the most definitive, the most in your face, up to the date, up to the moment, up to the minute. Sean's view entertainment will never be a disgrace because if it's not brash, well, then you know it's absolute trash. Later.